Hello once again, ladies and jelly babies, and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 4 with Morris. And at the end of the last part, um, yeah, we've just been introduced to, uh, to Rose again, unfortunately. Yeah, psychological counselor. I don't think she's very useful. I mean, I don't, I, I asked in the last episode, I'll ask again if anybody has ever had any excuse to actually call her up about anything <laughs> whatsoever. I never What's did. Hey there. No, don't. You'll blow our cover. There? Yeah, she's not so helpful. I don't actually know if she's able to raise the, uh, the sight gauge at all, really. I think she gives you advice on how to do it, but she doesn't actually do it herself. So the act of calling her, you know, isn't enough. But you know, that's fine. Fall asleep. Thank you. <laughs> and it turned out to be a lovely day. My god, that's bright. So yeah, this next area is the one where you can actually make a difference, in inverted commas, uh, on the battlefield by helping out the rebels. And it just makes the, the area afterwards a little bit easier. It basically determines who controls the next area of the game. And it's much better if it's the rebels. Who is this? Snake. That voice. There's an ambush. That voice. I know that voice. Government and PMC troops. You could be shot from anywhere. Watch your surroundings. Look to the distance. Is this... Jack? Jack is dead. <laughs> Snake. I'm at your side. Wait. He's at my side. Uh, he must have just got out of the way. That's so weird. Why does he call you up and then he doesn't say anything? He calls you... I think I was talking over it, so you probably couldn't hear, but he calls you up and he's just breathing heavily. You know? Kind of makes you wonder what he's up to. Anyway, so that, that, well, that was Raiden, in case anyone was confused as to what was happening there. And he's at my side, so everything's good. I'm not worried at all. So yeah, as you advance, the rebels are able to advance. So you don't actually have to. Um, you don't actually have to stand next to them and shoot everybody in the whole map because they're just constantly respawning. So it's easy just to make your way across this side. And any fans of Metal Gear Online, does this map look familiar? Of course it will, because everybody hates it. I wasn't a f I wasn't really a fan of this map. It was just, it was, well, I'll, in fact, I'll, I'll show you. That was a pretty good hit. But yeah, this uh, this area was fine. This this was quite a fun area to fight in. But down there, poof, that was just the worst. You couldn't, you couldn't get away with anything. Any snipers on the other team, poof, you, it was over. Game was over. Still a lot of fun though, hey, hey, you know, it's easy to take digs at Metal Gear Online. Still a lot of fun. And I'll take that ration just in case. I don't need this solid eye on, I'm wasting the battery. <laughs> Stop trying to get in, dog. Stop scratching. My dog there. He thinks he knows but more about Metal Gear Solid 4 than me, but he doesn't. That's why he keeps trying to get in. So yeah, this is what's called making a difference right here. You just take those guys out and then move on to here. I think once you get inside this building, they stop uh, respawning from inside the building. So. And it should be okay if the rebels see me now as well. Gotta make sure nobody else does. Fire. 
So yeah, come on, Rebels. Let's get in here. Let's do the business. Come on, guys. Here we go, here we go. Destroy the thing. That's really dangerous. <laughs> How close do you want to be to the explosion? By the way, you don't have to do this. You can just go to the next area. Uh, but you know, let's you know, stick around here. We I don't get to shoot a lot of people in this game, really. So yeah, once that has been uh, blowed up, the uh, the PMC guys won't respawn anymore. So you just got to take out the ones that are left, and then uh, yeah, you can move on. And you'll know when it's all done because they'll all start celebrating. Is there anyone left? There we go. Yeah, you can hear them all celebrating and that's your cue to move on. Alright, let's go. But yeah, you don't have to do that. If you don't want to, you can just run to this next area. Pretty simple to... You just roll down that hill that I did and then just run behind the back and you're done. I think this would be a good time to stop and smoke. I'm sure liquid's not going anywhere. Oh my god, a monkey stole it. <laughs> Thanks. God, everybody has this octo camo. <laughs> That's probably not octo camo, actually. Come on, hop in. It's getting rough out there. I don't think so. Don't be smoking in my truck. I don't like that. Save that for later. We meet again. You've been following me. You seem like an interesting guy, so I decided to check you out. So I went on your Facebook. Sit down. You don't have a lot of friends, Snake. A lot of legends about <laughs> you out there in the Intel community, especially in the uh, especially in the CIA. You know those nano machines I injected you with back in the Middle East. They let me track your location. Obviously. <laughs> really shouldn't let people inject random things into you. Ah, I learned that the hard way. I'm joking. <laughs> Figures. The B and B's are here. Bears Better are breakfast. B and B's. You never heard of them? They're Beauty and the Beast. Together they're called the B and B Corps. They're a squad of enhanced female soldiers, belong to the PMCs. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. That's a female. Probably yeah. freelancers hired by the PMCs. They're run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Drebin to let you in on a few things. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B and B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, old Snake seems a little more appropriate. Hey. Uh, old, huh? 
Hey, just because it's got that in, on top of my health bar doesn't mean you can call me old. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. That so what are you trying to say? They're easy prey or what? With, you know. <laughs> God, that's awful. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post traumatic. Damage their minds pretty much beyond repair. That's why they kill all those people. Cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. The remnants of their human side are buried deep within. The beast, that's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake into beasts. It's a nice idea, but they're still terrible bosses. Terrible. Octopus is the worst the worst idea for a boss. War transforms us. But deep within that shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. I still don't think any game has come anywhere close to the Foxhound unit from MGS1. In terms of a boss lineup. Their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing Snake, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain, and all the fury, and all the sorrow. Which makes these babes pretty much obsessed with killing you. Bring it on. Four B and B's have been identified so far. The one you just saw was Raging Raven. There's also Laughing Octopus, the Master of Mimicry, and Crying Wolf. She runs on four legs. These names sounding familiar? Finally, the mistress of mind control, Screaming Mantis. Mantis? Yeah. There used to be a guy by that name in the U.S. military. A Russian psychic. He could control people's minds. These are just the worst surveillance guns. <laughs> she keeps the other B and B's minds in check with a power. Who took that one of Wolf? Octopus. He must have died seconds Raven. afterwards. Wolf. Mantis. You got it. They're the snake hound unit. And they <laughs> the snake hound sights. unit. Ah, uh, still better than me and Cold Rap Patrol, I guess. Driven. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Drebin, let me just change the subject Are off my death for change. No, sir. I ain't no lale lule. <laughs> I mean, I'm no patriot. You could say patriot. I guess that means you're clean, right? The nano machines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're this is all very vague. Together. Keeps this whole mess in check. We are formal. We are the very discipline and law that Americans invoke so often. And why? I don't understand. Why Snake has that flashback? Because it was Raiden who heard that. Which makes you and me just so I don't. I don't know. Schematic. Maybe that's just for us. Someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning, but now their law has taken. Well, I guess the flashbacks aren't really. Well, some of them are for Snake specifically, and some of them aren't. So I don't know. The country. It's a bit mixed up there, I think. It ain't run by people. It's run by the See, it, because it looks like he was remembering the colonel no, saying that, but obviously he no couldn't because he didn't hear it. It's all handled slightly by confusing, massive, yet simple information processing system, an AI. Hmm. It works just like natural law. The world's a much simpler place than most folks realize. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far as to say it was a simple place. 
Every aspect of the Patriot system. <laughs> and then I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, and then follow it with a scene like this. The core AI that ties them all together. The SOP system. Let me just draw you a picture of what I'm trying to talk about here. Proof control system. So not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriots' AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS, I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven. You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens. A haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super rich would open bank accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad Hell yeah. to pay paying taxes. Now we I mean, I don't agree with that. Where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by the nano machines inside their body. Won't be long before people start using havens to escape from ID control. I guess you could say my gun laundering kind of borrows from the haven concept, after a fashion. Even so, good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. No chance in hell. Like I said, there's no breaking into the Definitely AIs. not. Nobody's ever gonna do it. Liquid ain't got a chance. Not gonna happen. You sure there's no But then it does. <laughs> I'm just a gun launderer. I'm just doing my laundry out here. I'm interested in you. It's cause you I like how my voice for Drebin and voice for Snake are exactly the same. <laughs> Alright then. You need me? Just give me a ring. Just holla. Five 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 laundry. I could do with another cup of tea. Does anyone want one? Because I'm going to go and get one. <coughs> no? Okay. Get your ass Fine. Inside. Now. I have you. Wow, he planned that perfectly. He knew how fast that door was going to close. Plan that. Beautiful. How did it start up so quickly? It started driving like as soon as the door closed. Is the monkey driving? Ah, so many questions. Anyway, I'm gonna pause it for now, guys. Uh, thank you. Oh yeah, I'll just show you. Like I was saying, because you helped the rebels, the rebels now control the rest of this area. So as you're running through, the only people you'll run into are these guys. And they're all like, hey, it's Snake, we love that guy. Yeah, go Snake. And then they just let you go past. So that's good. Anyway. Yeah, I've got to pause it for now, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Metal Gear Solid 4 with Morris, and I hope to see you in the next one, guys. See you later. Don't you walk away from me.